In this video, I will show you how to send an event to Google Analytics 4 after a visitor views three pages. In this video, I presume that you have already installed Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. If you haven't done that yet, then check the description below the video where I will post a link to a tutorial. After you watch that and install Google Analytics 4, then come back and continue this video. Also below this video, you will find a link to a custom code that we are going to use. Click that link, then copy the entire code, and then go to Google Tag Manager to create a new tag. In the Tags section, click New, Tag Configuration, custom HTML, and then paste the code. Basically what this code will do is that it will create a cookie called GTM page view count. And every time this tag fires, it will increase the number by one. So the default is one, which means that it is the first page view. Then on the second page view, we will fire this tag again, and the number in the cookie will change from one to two and so on. Let's fire this tag on all pages. In triggering, click anywhere and select all pages. Then let's rename the tag, for example, like that. Click Save. Now let's test if this is working. Click Preview, then enter the URL of your website and click Connect. Once the preview mode has connected, go to Google Tag Manager and check whether your tag fired on container loaded. And in my case, it succeeded. So now I can go to the website, click three dots, more tools, developer tools, and then go to application, then cookies, expand the cookies by clicking this triangle, and then select your domain. Here, enter gtm underscore, and you will see that here's the cookie and its value is one. So it means this is the first page view. The cookie is set on all subdomains of this domain because it has a dot in front of it. But if you want, you can be more specific by editing the code in the custom HTML tag. For example, you can specify and use just, let's say, www.htmplayground.com or something like that. But in my case, it's enough to have the default settings. So I will discard these changes. Now, when I go back to the website, let's refresh the page and see what is the new value. And here the value should be two. And as I keep refreshing the page, the value will be incremented. So our goal here is to fire a Google Analytics event tag when the page view is the third one, or in other words, when the value equals three. We can do that with Google Tag Manager, but first we need to create a variable that returns the value of this cookie. Because right now, if I go to, let's say, window loaded, check variables, I will not find any variables related to that specific cookie. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, variables, and in the user defined variables section, click new, variable configuration, and select first party cookie. Here we should enter the name of the cookie, which is this one. So copy, paste it, and then let's name the variable. Click Save. Let's test if cookie is working. So click Preview to refresh the preview mode. And right at the beginning, let's say if I click on initialization and variables, I will see the cookie and its value is two. But since our tag fires on container loaded, its value changes to three because that's the moment when the tag fired and incremented the value by one. So the next step would be to create a trigger. We are going to fire an event tag, let's say on window loaded, because then we will be sure that the custom HTML tag has definitely fired and has incremented the value of the cookie. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, New, Trigger Configuration, and then Window Loaded. Here, we want to choose only some window loaded events where the cookie exactly matches or equals three, because we are going to fire the event only on the third page view. So let's name this Trigger and click Save. Now the final step is to create a tag. Let's go to Tags, new tag configuration, Google Analytics and GA4 event. Here we should enter the measurement ID. So you can get that by going to admin of your GA4 property, then go to data streams, select website data stream, and then copy the measurement ID, then paste it right here. And here you can enter the name of your event. It can be anything you want. For example, third page view or something like that. According to the official Google Analytics for event naming rules, the event names should start with a letter. So don't try to enter something like that. Instead, you can use third page view or page view underscore three or something like that. Then we don't need to have any other parameters because Google Analytics will be able to track some basic stuff like page URL automatically. So now let's go to triggering and select our third page view trigger. Let's name this tag and then click Save. 
Let's test if this is working. So first of all, I will go to the website and I will delete this particular cookie. So I clicked it, hit the delete key on my keyboard, and then I can click preview to refresh the preview mode. So on this page, the GA4 config tag fired, the custom HTML tag fired, which means that the cookie should be set. And here it is, its value is one, but our event tag still doesn't fire because this is still not the third page view. Now I will refresh the page. The value is two, the tag still didn't fire. Now, if I click the third time, the page reloads. And on the third page, the tag fired because the value of the cookie equals to three. Now, if I refresh again on this fourth page view, the tag should not fire. Let me check that. I click window loaded and I see that the tag did not fire. I mean, no tags fired on this particular event, but on this page, if I click here, I will see that the other two tags fired properly, just as expected. Now let's go to Google Analytics 4 and check if this is working properly. In the admin section of GA4, go to data display and debug view. And here I see among regular page view events, the third page view event. So this is working fine. Now the next step and the final step would be to click the submit and publish your changes for the website visitors. Then after 24, maybe 48 hours after you publish this, you will start seeing the data about the third page view event in your Google Analytics 4 reports. And that is how you can send an event to GA4 after the visitor views three pages. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius. This is Analytics Mania and I'll see you in the next video.